What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day. We are back playing some Pokemon Sword and Shield, hopping onto the ranked double ladder with this adaptability Porygon Z team. So if you guys are hyped, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, it goes a long way. Thank you guys so much for the support. But I picked the Porygon Z team over here because ever since season six, I feel like it's gotten bigger and better since all the bands went out. Porygon's has been shining. But rocking out on this team, we got Porygon, obviously. Normal moves up for him with the Hyper Beam, Dark Pulse, T-Bolt protect and then life orb and adaptability we got the clefairy to actually help it out as well with the follow me helping hand protect and after you but behind my face cam right now we got chandelure with flash fire focus ash and then he can just imprison trick room with trick room imprison shadow ball and heat wave so normal moves up for him as well and then another pokemon that they catch my eye that was like yo i want to play this team is this rotom lawnmower dude over here because i haven't used him in a good bit and i really like him especially just his design he's a lawnmower like come on let's get after it yes leaf storm for stab thunderbolt for stab nasty plot if we can set up nasty plot we can go plus to in special attack and then dynamax and absolutely dominate the match and protect he has levitate as his ability and citrus berry to give it a teensy bit of more hp when it falls below health and then in the bottom two spots we got our tailwind pokemon with talon flame gale wing sharp beak and then normal moveset but this thing does have quick guard on it which is awesome if you guys do not know what quick guard is it is a protect up against uh first turn priority move so it is awesome and it works i think against both of your pokemon so say i have porygon and talon flame out and so once you use like mock punch i can quick guard with my talon flame and block both my porygon and my talon flame i believe that's how it works and then in the final spot over here we got draco fish with the strong jaw choice band fish is draco dragon rush not draco meteor punch and psychic fangs you guys already know how dangerous that pokemon can be but guys without further ado let's hop onto that rank double ladder and try to get some wins with this porygon z team First battle coming at you guys, and this team that this guy's using over here looks pretty familiar. Like, it looks similar to a team that I use, but not exactly, because I know I didn't have it used on uh, Rotom Wash a little bit. But I remember using the Urshifu, Talonflame, Mamoswine, Clefable, and the Duraludon. So, maybe not the Duraludon, but definitely those other four. But, who should I go into to start off? I think I gotta go Talonflame to match the Tailwind, because if we go Tailwind for Tailwind, I kind of cancel out. I could go Drake of Fish as well, but definitely Talonflame. I want to bring Porygon Z in here. He has no Trick Room, so I don't have to worry about bringing Chandelure. And uh, rolling out with that. Um, bump, bump, bump. Definitely want Porygon and Draco Fish. I think those are two definites. And I think we just go Rotom. But we might actually lead the Draco Fish. Draco Fish could be a solid lead here. Just does work all around. But he might go in with the Duraldon. And if he does that, I would rather have like something else on the line here. But we're going to go Draco Fish. We are going to go Draco Fish. We're going to go Rotom. And we are going to go Porygon C. Do I actually go with Shannon Lord maybe in the back end? Hmm. Nah, I think we're chilling. I think we're chilling with what we have right here. But by the time this video goes live tomorrow, Friday, it will, well, I'm trying to think of the date. It will be the 18th, I believe. Yeah, the 18th. It will be September 18th. We got 3D All-Stars coming out here. I hope you guys are excited for that playthrough. So this is how I am going to actually be doing it. So day one, I'm going to be double uploading 64 and Galaxy. And I think we're going to have a lot of double uploads during this time because I want to try to get some playthroughs out of the way because we got Pikmin coming and we got three of these Mario games we got to crush out the park. So I'm going to start off with 64 and Galaxy and then eventually move my way down to sunshine but definitely a lot of double uploads coming for the channel so i hope you guys are excited and are uh, ready to come out and show some support but do i even go tailwind here i don't think i need a tailwind i think i outspeed regardless i think i gotta go mm. follow me is definitely gonna pop out here so i think i might just go brave bird here so i'm definitely gonna drop this brave bird and then i gotta go for the fish's run obviously it might take me out which is so scary the, the, the route i might just run me this game that's a bait. That's like Duraludon is tough up against this team, I think. Like, he's just going to be struggling. Like, my whole team struggles up against Duraludon. I just feel like most attacks are not very effective, and we don't really have anything to just dump on it and get it out of the way. So, I feel like we might actually lose this game just because of this Dynamax Duraludon. It's just such, it poses such a big threat, and it is tough to get out of here. That's what happens sometimes. Like, some teams cannot handle Duraludon, and this might be one of them. Like, Duraludon's just an absolute beast. And when you can't handle the Duraludon, it will just steamroll you and run the match. Let's see what happens here. Let's just let's, let's play this one out. Brave Bird comes out here. Let's get it. Let's get it. Brave Bird, y'all. Yeah. Does some damage over here. And I think Fish's Ren might be able to take us out. No, that thing outspeeds. Wow. Never mind. I didn't think he was outspeeding my Dragonfish. Dragonfish is dead. He's dead, man. I should have tailwind. I should have tailwind. Wow, I'm surprised. I did not see that coming. I did not see that coming. I seriously thought uh, Dragonfish could just outspeed. We would have been fine. Hit that Clefable up and kill it. But now we're sitting in a pretty tough spot. I got to go adaptability probably, right? 100%. Gotta go with that ability. Uh, do I go right now? Or do I go into Rotom first? Nah, I gotta get after this. I gotta get after it. Uh, do I just set up a Tailwind? I think I gotta set up a Tailwind here. I take out the Fable. And then roll from there. Let's get it. 
Let's go. Because Fable's just going to use Follow Me again. Let's go Tailwind. And then Dynamax here, obviously. And do I go for Darkness and try to lower Special Defense? It's not very effective. Never mind. We got to go for a uh, nice little Max Strike. Just make sure just go Fable goes down. Get rolling. Get it, Shiny Porygon. He's like our last hope right here. We got to survive the round on and then eventually come out here and run things. But I think he's going to drop my Talon Flame here, which I'm kind of fine with as long as I can get off this Tailwind and start taking Speed Advantage. And maybe we can be okay, but the only way I'm destroying this Duraldon is when it's out of time x form. This thing's an absolute monster. It's a big steel beam. I don't even know what it is. What is Duraldon? I know he's just dragon type, but he doesn't even look like a dragon. He just looks like a bunch of steel put together. And then you're like, oh, it's a steel dragon. Here you go. Here, take him. And he's an absolute beast. <laughs> the Porygon Z coming out here. Adaptability. Yet and rolling. 322 HP. What you got? What you got, fool? So follow me. Gotta come out. Helping hand, helping hand, this guy's trying to do me dirty. He's trying to do me dirty. It's all right. Kevin comes out. Get it rolling. Get it rolling. The fairy or Clefable's going to go down here. See you later, Clefable. You're done. You're not surviving this max strike. Too much damage coming at you. Too much damage. Good old Porygon. I'm trying to think, what other Pokemon has adaptability? Is it Crawdon? I think Crawdon might learn it, which is pretty nice. We'll drop the route on speed, which isn't that big of a factor anymore considering we have Tailwind up. And he's going to go for a Worm Wind over onto... Over on the Porygon. And E! E! Leave him alone! Leave him alone! Please! Leave him alone! Too much damage! Way too much damage! Oh my lord, helping hand. What does that give him? 1.3 times multiplier? I believe it's 1.3. But I kind of saw this coming. Um, He has no first turn priority moves, does he? Might be rolling Aqua Jet. Do I quick card it? Nah, I'm just Brave Bird it. I don't think we quick card it. I say we do that. And I say we could do this. Drop its special defense. This thing could be Sash. He has Sucker Punch. Man, I should have quick guarded it. I should have quick guarded it. I knew it. I knew it. I'm dumb. I hate myself. This game stinks. It's over. We're, we're, we're taking this. We're taking this out. I should have quick guarded it. I was going to say, is this thing going to Aqua Jet? Of course it's rolling Sucker Punch. But it's not the water one. It's the dark one. Doesn't even take it out. Doesn't even do do that much damage. I thought we were gonna do a lot more to that thing. But guess not. Here comes the lighting and see you later, Town Plane. Yo, this one's over with. This one's over with. Tears rolling down my face. Tears rolling down my face. We come off that strong video in the last one, going 3-0 with that Sylveon team. And then we come out and you just get ran by the route on. But I saw that from the beginning. I was like, even when I was picking teams, I was thinking that in my head. I was just like, dude, the route on's gonna absolutely just sweep and run out this battle. I was trying to think of things that I could counter the route on with, and nothing. It was just like, bro, dude, we're getting stomped on. We're getting stomped on. But my best bet is to just keep Mr. Lawnmower alive right here. Let him not suffer and run this battle. So we're going to take this L, and we're going to go own one for this first battle. We're going to hop into our second battle and try to get ourselves a big old victory royale. So one Pokemon I have to watch out for here in this second battle is going to be that Zorok right there. That illusion fooled me the one time with the Confi. I'm going to try to not let it happen again, but it probably will. Um, do I start off with Tailwind? Do I really need Tailwind? That's the real question. Um, I feel like Tailwind would be a huge advantage for us, so I'm going to go for it. Um, bu -bu -bum. Who, who do I think he's going to lead? Definitely maybe the Zorok with an illusion. Um, do I lead my Dracofish as well? I think Dracofish could be pretty solid in some instances, especially up against a Mudsdale. Hmm. Definitely want that Porygon Z. I definitely want to bring him in there somewhere. Uh, no Shannon Lord. I actually want to go into a. Uh... Yeah, we're going to go Drink of Fish, Rotom, and then Porygon Z. I think that's the play. Or do we go Porygon and Clefairy, Clefairy right off the rip? Hmm. That could be a good play, but I'm, I'm going to stick this team. I'm going to stick the same team that we had in the first battle and try to redeem ourselves here. That is what we're going to be trying to do for the online game of community, baby. But. Let's see who he leads. Let's see who he leads. I feel like the my only problem is going to be the Illusion Zoro. I feel like that's going to throw me off, and I feel like if I can get that out of the way. Or the Lapras. Everyone knows Lapras is tough. But we do have Leaf Blade. We do have not Leaf Blade. Leaf Storm with my Rotom Mo. Which is pretty nasty. Maybe I should have led the Rotom Mo. And are any of you guys Illusion Pokemon? That is my question. That is my question. You were scaring me. Leave me alone. Uh, do I go Tailwind right off the rip, or do I double into the other Pokemon? I am going to set up a Tailwind. I get that speed rolling. And do I just go straight into a Dragon Rush? I could. But as much as I want to, I don't want to. I'm going to go after this, uh, this Toxtricity. I feel like this Dracofish is the Illusion Pokemon. Even though Dracofish is a solid lead, I just have an odd feeling about it. Like, one of these Pokemon are Illusion Pokemon. And they are annoying me right now. 
It's, it's throwing me off. It's throwing me off a lot. A lot. A lot, a lot, a lot. But which one is it? He's gonna withdraw that thing. He's gonna go into something that killed. You buttery biscuit. You buttery biscuit, man. What a play. What a play. What a play. Fish is ran hydration. Or water absorb. Nice play there. Dragon Rush coming out here. Fish is ran coming out here. And it's gonna take out my talent plan. But I did get up a tailwind. Which is absolutely wonderful. You little biscuit, man. You little biscuit. Do I go Rotom here? I think I go Rotom here. I think I go Rotom here. Um, hmm. I think I plot. I think I honestly plot up. I'm gonna plot here. I'm gonna have to drop a fish right over on you. I'm gonna plot and try to set this up because he might swap out his uh his lappers. And we're gonna see what he does. Let's see what your play is, big dog. If I can plot up here, I can get rolling. I can absolutely roll with this thing. I'm gonna withdraw. Okay, there's one withdrawal. Timmy's gonna withdraw the other thing. And we're getting a fish right over on that slot. Yes, sir. Free nasty plots coming out here. Beautiful. You love what you see. And one of them's illusion. One of them was illusion. Okay. Which one's illusion? Nancy Plot coming out here. I can Dynamax my boy next turn, which is awesome. We got speed rolling. We looking pretty good. Plus two on special attack. Read that uh, swap, but he did double swap. I wasn't reading the double swap. And this guy's dead. It was Zoroak. Zoroak is out of here. Shiny Zoroak looking all spiffy. Get him out of here. Get him out of here and we get free Nancy Plot set up. Oh my god. What a turn. What a big old turn for your boy Jeans. What a big old turn for your boy Jeans. Now he's going to bring up that. I'm going to set up that grassy terrain. We get it after. I'm Dynamaxing right here right now. Dynamaxing. Max Overgrowth coming out here. We're going after you. And then I'm just going to drop Fish Strain over onto his actual Toxicity now. But I wonder if the first one he's going to withdraw here, obviously. Okay, you can water absorb that. That's totally fine. This guy's just withdrawing left and right. Like, I don't think he, he really knows what's going on too much right now. Well, he does know what's going on. That was a nice swap. But, like, you can't be just, like, swapping. You're wasting a bunch of turns. What was that? His fourth swap of the game? That was his full swap, so that's four turns right there. I have a plus two set up right now. I could have set up again, but plus two is plenty. I feel like we should be chilling just fine, even if this uh, overgrowth doesn't kill. I can fish this friend to drink a fish next turn and just take out the Lapras on the next shot. Because I'll have the uh, 1.3 times multiplier and the plus two. Like, it's just wonderful. Dropping big old mushroom seeds right here. And this thing is gone. Get it gone. Get it out my face. Get it out my face. Dude, that's the best part about having road times. When you set up the nasty plots, it's GG, yo. It is GG. Especially at full health like this. Like, yo, we're setting pretty. And I sell my citrus berry. We're looking all good. Water absorb coming out here. I cannot really do anything about my boy right there. Until it cannot swap. Which will be right now. Which will be totally fine. Like, this match, we should be sitting pretty. Because I should be able to eat up a resonance either way. And I'm going to be outspeeding all day. And I feel like a fisher's man will be able to take out this toxicity too. But your boy is getting after it. Even though it looked rough in the beginning once he swapped and he fishes friend on my talent point, I was like, bruh, what you mean? What you do that for? I was looking a little tough, but if we got that nasty plot up, that's why I went for the nasty plot. I was like, we kind of need it right now. If we kind of need it, I'm going to try to read a swap. And it worked. I only thought he was swapping one, but he double swapped, which was better in our favor. And he doesn't even cancel out the battle. I think he's just letting this one slide out and roll. Overgrowth comes out, pop, 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 and you're gone, Lapras. You're gone. You're gone. Get him out of here. 1.3 with the grassy terrain and that plus two is just game over and stab damage forgot about that and then fish terrain comes out here this thing could be sash let's see is it sash it is not sash and let's get it it was air balloon i should have known that and should have read it early on but yo one and one so far we're hopping into our third and final battle and try to get that winning record for you guys so obviously we have to bring chandelure here look at this team it is full of trick room pokemon and it has one of my favorite pokemons on it which is Klefki, dude. I want to get my hands on another Klefki team, especially one that can set up Reflex and Light Screens. Like, yo, I love when Klefki is support set up like that. Like, if you guys have that team, send it to me in my DMs over on my Instagram page. Link is in the description below. But, um, I got a lead Chandel. I got a lead Chandel Pop. Chandel Pop, get out of here. You're getting the lead. No Talent Flame needed for this round. Um, do I lead Draco Fish? I feel like Draco Fish could be doing just fine here. Dropping Fish's runs left and right. I'm gonna, I'm gonna lead Draco Fish, and I think I might bring Porygon Z and Clefairy. Or bu 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 yeah, we got Z Clefairy. Let's get after it. Let's get after it. I'm liking. I'm liking the way this is looking. I'm liking the way it's looking right here. Let's get after it. 
but there was something I wanted to say between the first and second battle that I was gonna say during the second battle, but I totally forgot. Like, I don't know, I'm just drawing a blank on it. I hate when that happens, I know everybody does, but I feel like it was something important. So if it does pop in my head, I'm gonna be like, yo, I'm just, I'm just gonna blunt or uh, blare it out out of nowhere. Like, it's just gonna come out of nowhere, but I totally forget what it was, but I swear it was important. Puffy comes out here and channel pop. Uh, do I even go trick him here? I think I just dropped a big old heat wave. Do I even go trick him here? I think I just drop a nice little heat wave and I'll roll out after that. Right? Mmm. Just cut. Cut. You could set up a trick room. Do I imprison instead? I think I just shadow ball and I go, uh, after his cut with a fish's run. I think that's the plan. I don't think, I don't think cut key setting up a trick room. I really don't think he's setting up a trick room and I really don't think this thing is sashed either. I think if cut doing anything, he's going to, uh, pull out some screens. Let's see what you got. Does cut even learn? Trick room, I feel like it does, but at the same time, I feel like it might not. And I might just be second guessing myself. Oh, what you gonna do, fool? What are you gonna do? They do have channel pop with I. Uh, oh, he's Dynamax. He's Dynamax Primarine here. He is Dynamax Primarine. And Primarine is gonna be able to eat up this, uh. This what's called anyway. This Shadow Ball, because it's definitely Assault Vest. It's gotta be Assault Vest. Like, what Primarine is not Assault Vest? Most of them I see are. But hopefully, we can get this special defense drop and then roll into Porygon Z and just roll off from there. Let's see what happens here. Puffy's gonna set up the reflect. Okay, yeah, it's pranks are setting up trees. It's trying to do me dirty. It's trying to do me dirty. If I can get this thing out the way, that could be dandy. Shadow ball comes out. Give me the drop. Give me the drop. Give me the drop. No drop coming out here. Fish's friend, please take out this Cupkey so it cannot set up a light screen later. And it does not because it did go first. Here it comes to Starfall. We can say bye bye to my Draco. Draco is gone. He's dead. Get him out of here. Alright, Draco's gone. I should have heat waved. Because now he's gonna be able to get off a, off a light screen, which is gonna be absolutely huge. Uh, do I bring out Porygon? I think Porygon's gotta come out here right now. Yeah, because we can't go Clefairy. We gotta wait for Shandle to go down. So, we're gonna go Porygon. He's gonna get off the light screen, which is tough, man. It was just tough. And I'm just gonna uh, Heat Wave, take out the Clef Key, and then do a little bit of damage to Pre. And then roll into a uh, Max Strike. Try to do as much damage as I can. Or do I change the terrain up? I feel like Max Strike's the call. Hmm. Mm, what do I want to go for? This terrain's nice, but then, nah. We're getting out of adaptability times two. We're rolling after that, and then that life where we might be able to take out this pre. This nice little pre marina. Porygon, show them what to do. Show them what to do, but hopefully they start targeting down my Chandelier, which I'm kind of hoping for. Because I can get that out the way and then have the fairy roll in here and kind of just support my Porygon and maybe have Porygon just run the rest of this battle. That's the plan. That is the plan right now, because the fairy can't do any damage. So if they take out my Porygon, that's tough news. See what happens here. Oh, you, you biscuit. You biscuit, you garden. You biscuit, man. Light screen comes out. Free light screen. And then Heat Wave's gonna take out the Clefairy. And, I mean, nah, that was good. That was a good call by him. I was gonna say, it doesn't really matter. It does matter. That was, that was a good call by him to go into the Max Garden. Let's say, see you, way, see you later to the Klefki. Klefki gone. Klefki gone. Max Strike, blah. Big old blah. Uh, do I swap now? I could swap. I could do the swap piece. It really depends on what his Pokemon is. I can save Chandle. If it's a Trick Remon, I would rather just imprison it and get it out of the way. Hmm. What you gonna do, fool? What you want? It is gonna be a Trick Remon. Uh, I gotta imprison Trick Remon. 100% happy. Or do I just Shadow Ball? No, I'm gonna imprison. I'm gonna play it safe. Let's imprison this and then drop a big old Max Strike over onto the, uh, the Primarina. I don't, I don't want him getting it off. I don't want to go for a Shadow Ball, him eating it up with the light screen, and then just being able to get off a Trick Room. Here's it comes out here. Blah. I'm just going to block it right now. Hopefully, he's going for it and he wastes his turn. Let's see. Strike coming out here. Take out this pre -dude. Take it out. Say bye bye. Say see you later. Say see you later. Nope. This thing's too bulky. This thing's eating up with the light screen. And this soul vest. It's, I'm telling you, it's a soul vest. It, it's got to be. It's got to be. Going to your little geyser. You going for it? He's going to go for the max geyser. See you later. Or not see you later. Sash is popping. Unless you go. Oh, you're going after. Oh! What you mean? Please go for a trick room. I need you going for a trick room hattering. I need you doing it. I need you doing it. Yes. Let's go. That is huge for us. Um, unless this thing is rocking Aqua Jet. Unless this thing is rocking Aqua Jet. Still gonna go for a Shadow Ball. Hmm. Actually, no. I'm gonna Shadow Ball over onto the pretty side. Take you out, and then I'm going to drop a strike over here. 
So big in prison coming out here. This thing's not rocking Aqua Jet. Okay, it's not. We should be fine. We should be fine. I think that in prison might have just won us the game. We should be good now. We should just be chilling. We should be chilling here with Chandel and Porygon. This should be able to take out. This thing sashes up. Okay. That's fair. That is fair. Hmm. We get the speed drop. I think Porygon goes down here. Do a uh, Dazzle Gleam. Yep. Dazzle Gleam comes out. Takes out Porygon. Shandle's eaten. We still have Clefairy right here. Um, I can go for a Heat Wave, but ugh. The weather is throwing me off a little bit. The weather's throwing me dirty a little bit. The heat Wave. Clefairy cannot do any attack, so... I think I could just Heat Wave follow me. And have a single target of Pokemon and just have uh, Chandler come out here and win this for us. Let's see who he goes into. Gardevoir. Ooh. E. Ah! He's tracing me too. It's Flash Fire. Oh, you buttery biscuit. That of all works well, but. Hmm. Do I read to protect? I want. Gardevoir out the way. Hmm. Ah, this one's too tough. Let me take out Gardevoir. We're just helping hand this. Because Hattery might protect you. Let's see what happens. It does not, but still. I know we can eat up shots from Hattery all day. I feel like Gardevoir is just better on special attacking. So I'd rather get rid of this Gardevoir. And I know it can't be Sash. Get it out of here. Just kill it. Kill it. Oh. Ooh. That might have been a bad play. Might have been a bad play. We eating. Everyone's eating out here. Double Dazzle Gleam coming out here. Uh, now do I throw it over onto the... Now do I throw it over onto the... Oh, the terrain's gone too. Now I throw it over onto the Chandel. Or not the Chandel. I throw it over onto the Hatterene. I mean, let's follow me just in case. Let's follow me just in case. Just in case they want to go for a single damaging move. Follow me comes out here. Just in case. Oh, this one's coming down. This one's coming down. Just in case they want to go into like a moon blast or something. That ball comes out here and takes you out. Okay. So now all, all I need, all I need is my Chandelure to eat up a Dazzling Gleam or this thing to just go for a single target move. Let's see what it does. Let's see what it does. Goes for a Dazzling Gleam. Eat it up. No crits allowed. No crits allowed. We looking pretty good. A helping hand. I come in here. I don't think you have any first turn priority moves. Am I correct on that? And we should be able to just Shadow Ball and helping hand out. Should be chilling. Should be looking good. Getting that winning record. Looking good so far. Come on, Chandle. Don't you miss. Do him dirty. Slap on him. Get him out of here. Wait a minute. How this thing outspeed me? How that thing outspeed me, first of all? I'm a little confused. We were outspeeding this whole time. How we? I'm confused on that one. Or did that thing outspeed me last time? But we take it out for the win. I'm just a little confused. Like, I thought that thing outs Or we outsped Gardevoir turn in the last turn but either way we got the win and we got the winning record let's get it guys so guys first battle we got absolutely slapped on by that the round on that the round on came out whooped on us second battle we played pretty well but i feel like the opponent played a little weird just a lot of withdrawals but we ended up winning and then that third battle was a good battle that we actually end up taking the cake and getting that winning record but guys that is going to be it for today's video if you did enjoy the content don't forget to smash that like button for me and for new here click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, everyone.